friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to yet another Mythical Mail Monday. If you don't know, Mythical Mail Mondays are every Monday I open all the mail I received throughout the past week. And honestly, going forward, I'm probably only going to do these every other week. Um, I'm really trying to cut down on how much I'm buying and consuming and uh, taking in and I've really cut down in this new year so I'm really proud of that and yeah I think I'm gonna do it every other week from now on also you might have noticed that I've been absent for quite a few weeks I think I haven't posted for like two weeks now but let it be known that I have returned and I am back and um, my normal posting schedule will be back up and running starting now so I have a few things I want to share with you today, but the first is my Reddit Secret Santa gift. So I participated in the Reddit Secret Santa exchange and my original gifter never actually sent me anything, which kind of was a bummer, but my rematcher was wonderful. They sent me a vintage um, Mickey Mouse thermos, so this will go great in my Mickey Mouse uh, Disney room and it's got Mickey, it's got Pluto, and then it's got Mickey and Pluto again, and they're just interacting with like the circus animals, and it's really cute. So they got me this box set of The Enchanted Forest Chronicles, The Misadventures of a Princess Who Refuses to Be Proper, and this is by Patricia C. Weird, and I don't know anything about this box set, so I'm really excited to get into it. My rematcher, Santa said that this was their favorite middle grade series growing up. So I'm excited to delve into this and learn more about a person from their favorite books. And finally, they got me two Scentsy packs for my Selly Scentsy. If you saw my what I got for Christmas part one haul, I'll link it right here. But I got a Selly Scentsy and they got me an apple cherry strudel and a sun-kissed citrus. Scentsy pack and I love both of these scents so much. They're like my two favorite scents So I am very appreciative to my read match Santa. Thank you so much if you happen to watch this video um, But I really appreciate everything you sent me but even more so I appreciate you being a rematcher and wanting to make the holidays a little bit more special for someone Next I bought the six of crows slash Grisha verse dust jackets from a touch of magical designs These dust jackets are incredible so here's the Six of Crows one. It has Kaz, Inez, Jesper, and Wylan on it. And then here is Crooked Kingdom with my beautiful Nina. And then we have Matthias and Zoya and Ginya and Nikolai. Woo! Next, during the Lit Joy Literary Location Pins restock, I purchased three of the pins that I was dying to get. Uh, first is the Peter Pan Neverland map. Then we have the um, Hunger Games participants or um, the Quarter Quell participants specifically. And I believe it's Katniss and Finnick. Oh, it says it right there. Katniss, Peta, Finnick, and Joanna Mason. So those are for Quarter Quell. And finally, we got the Lars. On to the last two unboxings for this Mythical Mail Monday. First, I have the January Owl Crate. This one had a Greek mythology theme, so I'm very excited for this one. So here is the spoiler card. It is from Olympus with Love is the theme. The first thing I am pulling out is an enamel pin. It says, the eyes of the gods are upon you. And I believe it's a Medusa pin, which is really fun. Next is a tea, and it's the Nectar of the Gods, and this is from Riddle's Tea Shop. I'm not sure what the flavor is, but again, as I always say, I'm not a coffee or tea drinker. I wish they would do like a flavored water or flavored hot cocoa, um, but I know a lot of people love tea, and my aunt loves tea, so I'll just pass this along to her. Next thing is a pin banner, and I've needed one of these for quite some time. Mine are filling up very much so, um, but it'll be good to have a new one, and this actually matches the other ones I have because all of mine are black, um, so this fits in perfectly. It looks like next thing is a tapestry, and it looks like the moon phases, so I'm not sure. I'm guessing Artemis since she's the goddess of the moon. 
Not my favorite item. I probably won't keep it, but it is cool for people who are interested in that kind of thing. I say as a person who is also interested in astronomy and Greek mythology, who's interested in that type of aesthetic in their decorations. There we go. Next is a wood mark, and on one side it says, there are rare moments when another soul dips near yours. As stars once a year brush, the earth such a constellation was he to me. I feel like I read that in the wrong intonation, but it's fine. And then here it says, I would know him in death at the end of the world. The wooden bookmark is actually inspired by the Song of Achilles and Circe. Next we have a large item in this box. Oh, looking down in here, I can tell it's a letter board. And you know, if I had just read the back, I would have known it was a letter board. It's a Hermes letter board. Use this many letter boards to create fun messages you can then display in your home. But it is nifty in that it comes with a little pouch to keep the letters in. All right, and the last thing is Lore by Alexandra Bracken. The uh, exclusive cover on this is that it's a darker cover. I don't think it came with any other type of exclusiveness, but this tells the story of every seven years, I think it is, the gods and humans are pitted against one another, and the ultimate goal is for the humans to defeat the gods so that they can become a god, and one day a human does it so all the other gods are ganging up against him or something along those lines, but it sounds so good. I'm so ready to read some mythological goodness. <laughs> then of course we got our little magazine. And finally, next month's theme is Magic Unleashed. And every February box will include a book tin designed by Forensics and Flowers. Last but not least, I have my Fae Crate here to unbox. Helps if I flip it the right way. This is the December Fae Crate. And I believe the last one I had until I canceled the subscription. The first thing I am pulling out is our shirt of the month. And I believe this one was inspired by the Gilded Wolves. It says, make yourself a myth and live within it so that you belong to no one but yourself. And there is what the design looks like. Next, I can actually see without opening the package. It is a beanie hat. It says, the vortex still spins. Um, again, not my design, so I'm probably gonna pass along on this hat but it is super soft and cozy feeling. Next is an enamel phone grip. So I'm assuming that this is a um, like pop socket type thing. And it says dream of stranger worlds and it's inspired by a darker shade of magic. And I actually have a pop socket that I use as shelf decoration for Sorcery of Thorns. So I'm probably going to do the same thing with this. Next is a little patch. It is an exclusive iron-on patch that says, Night Has Chosen Me, inspired by the House of Night series. Next is a nice little desk pad. You have the room to do the date, the day of the week, what you're grateful for, your to-do list, your reading log, your notes and doodles, and three good things about today. Next is a candle. It's a nice little yellow candle. It says, Terrasai, Behold What Is Coming mango and tangerine that sounds incredible and it was it smells amazing i'm trying to remember because this uh label is giving me definite vibes off of a certain book cover i'm trying to remember what book cover i'm thinking ray bearer um but i'm not sure because i have the uk version of ray bearer and i can't remember exactly what the u.s version looks like but i'm pretty sure it's that yeah, I looked at the spoiler card, it is Ray Bearer. Next we have a little Polaroid print. It says, a wild untamed sort of music. And we have a couple sitting at a piano. And finally, we have our book of the month, which is A Deal with the Elf King. And honestly, this cover had me hooked from the beginning. This one does have some more exclusive features to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it to show you those. So this edition comes with a book plate, but also comes with silver sprayed edges and a, an exclusive hardback edition under the dust cover. 
So that was all for today's Mythical Mail Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below what your favorite item was or what you've received this past week. Stay tuned for my very, 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 very late um, January TBR coming up this week and also uh, a few other videos. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a Disney vlog or my what I got for Christmas part two. Again, I'm very behind on videos. I really slacked off this January on vlogging and videoing, but I have done really well at reading. Um, I've just been kind of in a reading mood and a video slump, so I switched from December where I was in a reading slump and a videoing mood. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. As always, uh, make sure to subscribe, like, anything you can do to help me out. I really appreciate it and I appreciate you. Uh, but that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye friends! Mm -hmm.